There is a new formatter in town and it is trusted by the legendary creator of Shad CN himself. It's called Ultra Sight, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right, and it's using Biome under the hood. It's built in Rust for instant code analysis and processing, meaning it's really, really fast. And thing I really love is that it is designed both for humans and AI. So code style is going to be the same for all developers working on that project, but not only for the developers, but also for AI models. Every AI model is going to use this set of rules set by Ultrasight in this ultrasight.mdc file, and it's going to be followed. So every model, whenever you are using your tab chat or command K inside of your AI code editor, these rules from here are going to be used. And the implementation is really easy. I'm going to walk you through it now quickly. So here we have just one command. I'm going to use pmpm and I have here a new Next.js project. So I'm just running that command and it's instantly asking us which editor rules do we want to enable. So it's working with Copilot, Cursor, Winsurf. I'm using Cursor now. So I'm going to, I just tapped my space to select it and we are going enter. Now, would you like any of the following Husky pre-commit hook? Yes, why not? I'm always using Husky. So this is one command less that you need to use on your new project and that's it. So now when we open code for this one, we can see in our package.json file that we have biome.js, biome dependency, and we also have this ultra site. So what we can do now is we can actually remove this ESLint totally and also this one right here. So we can go and run pmpm install again to remove those. So now we can also remove the ESLint config file we don't need that one and if we go to our main page for example we can already see that we have some code highlighted so we have here this tailwind code so these css classes should be sorted and also here we have the attributes that are not sorted well so if i just do one save everything is automatically formatted and we don't have any more warnings and one piece of advice, you go here, command shift P and format document with. So then you choose here biome. Maybe you have by default set prettier or TypeScript and JavaScript language features. So you just go configure default formatter and put biome here. So it's always saving then as biome on each save. And what we can do now is we need to go to the documentation again and here to usage. So we can lint actually here. So we can put in npx ultra site lint and we are going to discover how many warnings we have. So we have a bunch of things, nine files, and we can actually format them ourselves. So this one is like prettier, right? And we are going to run that one inside of our terminal. And the only thing left is this theme. So if you're using Tailwind, and shed CN probably, then you need to fix this one. There are two ways to do this. First one is to go to your globals.css and here on at theme, where is the problem? You can just put a quick fix to suppress this rule. And I know this is not perfect, but this is only on one line of code and we know what's the problem. So this one is probably the best solution. The other one is to go to your biome.json.c file and we can put here a linter rule so we can turn off the known unknown at rule and that removes the warning from here so we can now run again the lint command and we are not going to have any more warnings and we can actually push on GitHub. So if we check our pre-commit, it's actually doing the MPX ultra site format. So it would format all the code for us. And every time any developer is working on this project, it would go in the code style that you set. And I just want to show you quickly on my 8BCM project where I'm using ESLint plus Prettier. I have here one, then we have two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven dependencies doing the same thing like ultrasite plus biome. Although here I don't even have auto sorting for my CSS classes, so I would have to add the eighth dependency also. And not to mention the performance, I experienced more than once that I'm waiting for ESLint to load and I'm stuck in my code editor. And this is really a great improvement, and I'm definitely going to refactor to ultrasite plus biome. Hope you enjoyed in this video, warriors. For more content like this, join the mighty horde. Subscribe.